All right, hear me out. Cause for this video, I started like this and I ended up something like... Um, like today, I don't really feel like producing. So here is important the context. I wanted to record a full video, maybe an uncut type of video, a longer format, so you can learn and see how I produce a full track. But I got some problems and it ended up being more like kind of blog or, or maybe a day-to-day -day life as a music producer. So yeah, let's start. All right, it's quite bright yeah there we go let's try something today i wanted to record something i'm kind of tired of those over edited videos so let's do sort of an uncut video and let's try to produce something but we have two problems here because i have no idea what i'm gonna do and then i have a building right next to my building which is quite loud or noisy but yeah <laughs> let's try to produce something so the only thing that i have here is that piano Plus, I don't know what I'm gonna make. I go to the EDM of EDM MIDI pack and I'll drag a couple of <laughs> ideas here. We have 500, so, so we should be able to find something. Okay. Yeah, I edited a little bit the melody and I think we can do something interesting with some pitch automation and a cold lead. So I'm gonna go for that side. I'm thinking on a kind of video house-ish track. So I go to Bouncer probably. Let's try a cold lead. What I like to do is to drag a bunch of leads that I can use. Maybe I won't end up using them, all of them, just to keep on inspiration flowing, you know? One thing that I'm trying recently is, is a lot of pitch automations because they really can change the sound or the, the character of the whole song or transform like a normal melody into something pretty cool. Let's try. Bit down up some waves so we now want to mix them together first with volume so this is my main layer this here. Another thing we can do with this lid is first remove or reduce the reverb. Now we have on some of the layers, for example, this one. And now I'm gonna do two things. First, I'm gonna add a reverb to a depth. But I'm gonna add another one. This one will be for the river automation. And I'm gonna add a, also a fruity balance, as I will always do. If you've seen some of my videos, you should know. So yeah, I'm automating the mix knob and I'm also automating the volume of the fruity balance. And probably here. So let's now go to Bouncer and I'm gonna add some kicks. Yeah, I really like the, a 
attack of this one. Really? If you hear me saying all it is because she wants to catch the mouse <laughs> in the camera, as you can see. And bro, it's really difficult to produce in a bright studio like this. And that's why I'm using glasses. Actually, you asked me a lot why I'm using glasses. And um, bro, I, I know it's strange to use it in a studio, but I'm, I'm too shy, bro. I don't want to show myself. I'm scared of. Um, and, and about the gloves, I have no, no answer to it, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's move now with the drop claps. Same for the kick, I can add a little bit here. To add a little bit more impact. All right, I'm delaying a lot uh, today. I don't know why, maybe I'm not that inspired. Uh, but let, let's move with the chords. Of the drop and now let's search for a cool corn bouncer uh, by the way i don't know if i already mentioned but you can get bouncer in the description it's a future house pack that i use a lot for this type of tracks and edm shams so yeah check it out if you want um there's also a free version in the description by the way for now let's try this So for the bass, I want to copy the bass notes, of course, and I will go once again to Serum. I'm gonna add some kickstart and some OTT, why not? Yeah, I like this. Maybe the piano too. Yeah, sorry if I'm delaying too much in stuff that is not that important. I really like to have the main idea uh, there. And I hope you find some value out of this. Um, I appreciate your subscription if that's the case. If not, that's more than fair. Um, but yeah, actually, let me know if you like this type of videos or I don't know, you prefer the shorter format. Uh, it's kind of the same. I, did I say format? Yeah, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> so, yeah. By the way, I'm moving this slightly so the delay is not affecting. And so I still have some transients going on. All right. thing I'm gonna do for the lead is to add another fruity balance here because the main thing that I want to do is to add some bounciness and for these short notes that I have let's add some gaps and I'm gonna add this uh, fruity balance automation to the chords to slot six now it's way too hard so we can simply play with this not sure though so yeah i'm producing way too loud bro all right still not sure about the track um but yeah all we have to do is to keep moving
Okay, I had to say that it's been tough. Um, like today, I don't really feel like producing. I'll be honest, I don't like this idea. If I wasn't recording, I'll probably delete it because I don't really like it. So instead of being here suffering for trying to <laughs> make this sound good, what I will do is to basically take a break. I find this real, I think we all go through this. So yeah, let's stop for now. And actually, I have to mention now something important to talk about, I think. I don't know, when I'm producing and doing this type of genres, maybe I can stop comparing myself with other producers who are doing great. Uh, of course, that they do have bad days or so. Uh, when you try to be good, you kind of pressure yourself. I think it's kind of what I'm doing or what my mind do, is doing right now. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm not a guru, you know, I'm trying to be real. Um, this is what's happening to me right now. I want to show all the process in this video, so let's see what happens. It's been like two hours. I just got this mic. I hope you can hear me well. All right, so I just ran out of battery. And yeah, all I want to say is that sometimes you will have days like this. Now I feel frustrated and I think frustration is part of the process. I mean, you can avoid it. But the thing is what you do with your frustration. The way I see it is there are two ways. The first one is what I used to do is, and it's avoiding the situation, just uh, getting mad at it. Um, yeah, going to do something else which is okay, but the idea is to come back later because otherwise, I mean, you, you will relate production or the project with that frustration feeling. I don't know if, it, if that makes sense. Or you can take a break like I did and come back later and try to improve it. The thing here is that, okay, we all have bad days. We all make shit music <laughs> sometimes. For, for others like me, it's always bad. Anyways, I'm happy with that. But what I'm gonna try now is like, okay, I've realized that this project is a shit. So now I try to make a shit sound as good as possible. And that's what I want to keep recording this video to show you the real process or a day-to-day -day battle that I hope I can win. <laughs> All right, so here's my producer, I guess. I don't know if you can see it. All right. All right, there we go. I'm kind of feeling better now. Let's hear this shit. I'm gonna spice the drop a little bit more. All right, feeling better now. Still not sure about this, but I think I'll move with the break. Let's see what we can do. So I think I'll copy the simple version of the chords. We might want some slow part and then some faster part. Let's try portal to add some atmosphere. Yeah, I don't want to, for the cards of the drop, I don't want to add like all the energy in the build up. I like to add some uh, transition, like to make it more progressive. I made it unique and I'm gonna remove the most energetic oh i think i remember a lead uh, from bouncer that i love uh, so might be a cool idea to add it here Little bit 
closer to the final result. I'll show you in a second, but I said in the end to hear the final conclusions of this video, of this project at the frustration topic, because I think this is very important and it's something that happened a lot to all of us. Meanwhile, if you find this somehow useful or you like it, I appreciate your like. Please help me take something positive out of this video because it was a nightmare and it will be a nightmare to edit so yeah hit the like subscribe for more content and if you need something in exchange there's a free midi pack a free future house pack in the description that they are ready to be downloaded these are the free versions of the alpha edm midi bundle with and the bouncer pack so check them out too if you want so i'm stressed i got a hard day but seems like someone is not let's hear the final result Okay, so I think I won this battle. The song is kind of better. I don't know if it's the, be the best project. Of course, that is not. <laughs> Actually, I know it. But I don't know. I think when I was starting or when I needed the break, it was like a 2 or 3 out of 10. And now it's a solid 6, I'll say. Maybe I'm being too hard with me. I don't know. Let me know what you think about the track in the comments and um, especially what you think about all of this frustration topic is this is something that happens to you a lot to know so we can help each other but yeah the most important thing of this video is not only for me to like go through the frustration process and kind of get better but to be able to show you the real process of making music of a real producer in social media like everyone's show their best things and that's not real at all i hope you like it subscribe if you like this type of content and yeah there will be a video around here i don't know what user recommends you so watch this video next my name is Zixai. take care and i see you there maybe